your mom and my mom would be friends. I think so. I think they get along. Right? I was a uh, I was on Long Island the other day and then my mom's coming back to the city with me. And before she left, she asked, she was like, should, should I put on a white sweatshirt so I'm more fancy? <laughs> I was like, Ma, I really don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> My mom every week goes to this uh, arthritis uh, swim exercise class uh, with a bunch of other old ladies, and she refers to it as her swim team, <laughs> as if they're, they're training for the regionals. <laughs> My mom in this past year became obsessed with giraffes, like inexplicably. So we gave a giraffe onesie for Christmas, and now it's the only thing she wears. I come home, she answers the door, She's a giraffe onesie with like a cigarette and a glass of wine. <laughs> I was up there for Christmas. My wife and I had Christmas morning breakfast with my mom and she made a six meat breakfast. It was six meats and there was dessert for breakfast. I know she loves me, but I think she's trying to kill me. <laughs> I was, uh, we went to the mall that same day, me and my mom were just walking around, and she says to me, totally unprompted, I'm a little upset that I jumped on the Mandala bandwagon. No, I, I still don't really know what she's talking about. <laughs> my mom doesn't really know or understand what I do for a living, so she just tells everybody I'm a high school teacher. I, I dropped out of college, so it doesn't make any sense. Oh, no. One time uh, when I was a kid, Tooth Fairy accidentally left me $21. I had told my mom in the morning, and she was very upset. <laughs> She's not excited for me. My mom's a liar. <laughs> my, mom, my mom's bonkers, but I love her. Yeah, I love my mom too.